There is a secret hidden for thousands of years. As the master of food and beverage of this place, he will reveal it to you. The world needs to know. His name is Paul Schenk. Hi, I'm Paul Schenk, and I'm here to introduce you to the world's best kept secret in the culinary world. That's Korean food, better known here in Korea as Hanshik. I'm here right now in the royal suite of the hotel. There's a little bit of a theme happening today, cooking royal cuisine. Today I'm going to be making gungjung dokbokki. It's an exciting dish. Let's go get cracking. All right, so now we're in the kitchen. I'm a lot more comfortable here. Now we're going to make kunjung dokbokki, royal stir-fried rice cake with beef and vegetables. You know, this is food fit for a king, and of course, for this, we need the best ingredients. So come with me and we'll go get some. Where is my beef? There it is. So the first thing that we need for this dish is beef. I've just got a, a top round here. What I'm going to do anyway, I'm going to chop it up very finely. So for this I'm using top round today. Slice that through. Just slice it thinly first and then we'll lay it down and chop it through. Very easy. And there we have it. Chopped beef. I'm going to put that into my mixing bowl. First thing actually is soy sauce. I've got soy sauce. We just put that in over the beef for the marination. We've got a touch of sugar. Just a touch. A little bit of black pepper. We've got vegetables up next. So I need to go and grab out some fresh King's vegetables. What do I need for this one? Green onions, mushrooms. I need a bit of everything in here, actually. Wow. Look at that. Now that's a lot of preparation, you might say. It's actually going to be a lot easier than this. We've got capsicums or peppers, red and green. Green onions or spring onions. I've got some gorgeous fresh Pyogo mushrooms and a very important ingredient which we'll come to a little later. Vegetables first. For the beef, I've got the beef obviously with the soy sauce, the sugar, the ground black pepper. I want to add to that some ground garlic. There we go. All right, so I crush my garlic first. Okay, chopping time. It's good. Next step, green onions. I want to cut them into, into lengths. And then I'll slice them in half. Slice it and then dice it. Green onions also are prevalent in any food, any cooking, or spring onions as we call them. Found everywhere in the world. You know, my first experience with kunjung dokboki, royal stir-fried rice cakes, was uh, at a very famous traditional restaurant. And I was really amazed with the gorgeous flavor of this dish. And, uh, you know, the ease of making it is even more of a surprise. It's really easy to make. Just get it more fine. Ugh, it's hard work. Come on. 
Imagine having to chop this for like a hundred people. It'd be here for a while. So half this green onion will go into the beef. I keep half for the sauce. And again, half this garlic, not even, will go there. Mix it in nicely or mix it in well. Gorgeous flavor. Okay, so the beef is ready. We'll sit that aside, 15 minutes just to marinate. Next step is to prepare our vegetables. My capsicums. Next, I'm going to use just one of each, will be enough for today. What I'm going to do with the capsicum is get a julienne. We take out the top and all the seeds. All right, we take off the bottom, we take off the very top, and we just take out the white here. Very finely slice it. Royal cuisine in Korea is something that has to be seen, and this one is one of them. Although it is a very casual dish, these days, presentation in those days was a lot more a lot more time consuming there are royal food restaurants as well in Korea and they give you the full treatment and it's very done in the traditional way it's a good thing to partake or a good thing to see and to, to experience no doubt about it look at that great Okay, mushrooms. As I said earlier, we've got Pyogo mushrooms. I'm just going to take off the very top of that. This is just simply to make a nice looking clean cut on the Pyogo. And we're just going to slice that. I'll take off one end and then we slice it fairly thin. Your friends will really enjoy eating this one. So that's the Pyogo mushroom done. Now for the Natari or oyster mushroom. I've taken off the root system and going to break it up with my fingers. We've got the remaining garlic. We've got the remaining chopped spring onions and some soy sauce. So once again, soy sauce in. This is for the sauce, so it's important to get our measurements right. Not too much sugar. The honey, I just want a drizzle, just to give this some nice uh, natural flavor. Again, this is 100% original recipe. Gunjung Dukboki, or Royal Stir Fried Rice Cakes. I don't need any salt because the soy sauce is giving it enough. That looks good. Come and have a look, Duncan. Check this out. You can see the color and the texture. Great for a sauce. This sauce will be cooked very quickly, so it's important to, uh, to get that color in there already and the flavor. Okay, so we're ready for the beef. I've just got to put in some oil, just vegetable oil. You can see it's smoking. I put in my beef now. Okay, to this, you want to keep mixing it, and I'm going to add my vegetables now. Put in the capsicum, red, green, mushrooms. What will happen? The, the pan will heat down. It'll take a bit of the color off the bottom of the pan. It will stew a little. Okay, that's sauteing very well. Now is the chance or the time to add our sauce. In goes the sauce. You can smell the aroma of the soy sauce. 
obviously the beef, the vegetables, everything that goes with it. This sauce is going to thicken a little because of the honey and the sugar, which is what we're after. I'm going to add the noodles now. Good going. A little bit of water. The flavour or the smell and the aroma of the garlic, the soy sauce. It's a little bit sweet. I can smell the mushrooms coming through as well. I'm sure that back in those days they did it with a lot more grace and elegance than this. You know, royal food actually was exposed after the collapse of the dynasty. What happened was the chef then went out and he shared his recipes with the community. It wasn't until then that people really knew what royal food was or what royal cuisine was. Okay, we're ready to go, fit for a king. The king is here, we're going to plate up the dish. I will take that over, you can see that. Have a look at that, Duncan. Look at that sauce, it's nicely coated. We're ready. You can see the dish here, I've got the dish ready. Okay. The food is ready. Gunjung Dokpoki is ready. It's very hard for me to pronounce that actually, but uh, anyway, I got it right. Okay, you can see the rice cakes. Of course, every good chef has to taste his own food. Beautiful gloss. Mmm. Wow. Oh, that's great. I'm really happy with that. I've got the egg ready. Perfect little diamonds. Some sesame seeds sprinkled over. Only a little. Wow, look at that. We have just uncovered another world's best kept secret with gunjung dokboki. That's rice cake stir fried with beef and soy sauce and vegetable. Easy to make, fun. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. That's really cool. I'm Paul Shank, and I'm here to introduce you to the world's best kept secret, Korean food, better known as Hanshik. I'm here on the streets of Seoul right now to introduce you to the king of street food. It's gochujang dokboki. Fun to make, action. Let's go make it. Gochujang dokboki is very spicy. It's one of the most popular dishes in Korea, and the young ladies in particular, it's their number one dish. It's a dish which I love to cook. Now, to start off with, we have to make a stock, and the stock is seafood based, so I'm just gonna put a bit of water into the pot. The stock is for our sauce. So, I've got water in the pot. The first thing that I need to do, I've got some kelp here, or some seaweed, some dried seaweed. Has a uh, beautiful aroma, like the ocean. Ah, I can see the beach now. And just pop that into the water, a few pieces. We're going to bring that to the boil, and that's gonna boil just for a few minutes, and then I'll add my other ingredients afterwards. I'll show you exactly what to do. Okay, while I'm waiting, I've got a couple of vegetables that I need to prepare for the stock and for the stock only. Come with me, Duncan, and we'll go and have a look. Oh, I need my bowl. What do we need? We need onion. I need garlic. A little. Cover that back up. And I need one spring onion. Spring onion. Good to go, all right. Okay, so I've got my vegetables for this spring onion. I'm just going to 
roughly chop it. This is for the stock, so we don't need anything special done. One onion, I'm going to use half the onion. Roughly chop it. There we go. And garlic, whole. So, for my stock, I have my vegetables chopped ready. Didn't take long, did it? Come on in, Duncan, have a look at this. Our kelp is just boiling. I'm going to take it out here. You can see how it's grown in size. Look at that. Those dried little shriveled up pieces are now huge. All that flavor from that has gone into the stock. Oh, that's gorgeous. And uh, that's no longer needed. Put that to the side. Next step for this is to put in our little anchovies. You can see that they're dried. Dried anchovies. I'm going to put in a small handful of these, just a few pieces. Some peppercorns. And my vegetables. In go the veggies. All right, so five to ten minutes more. Then again, we'll take out all of that stuff. Vegetables are next. Let's go. Check them out. Okay, so for this, we need pretty much everything in my fridge. A bit of that and definitely some of that. Wow. The joys of working in industrial kitchens. You can make it look a lot easier than me. So, the stock is boiling. I need to strain the stock off. I don't want any of the other little bits. So I'll just pour that and strain it. There we have it. I'll put that back on for a little bit of heat. And now it's time to prepare the vegetables for this wonderful dish. We're going to cut the cabbage, what's called baton, baton shape. It's about one to one and a half centimeters thick, and it's about the length of a small finger. That'll be fine. You can see the size there. That is baton size. With the green onion, we want the same. We want baton size. So we cut that in half, and then we'll simply cut it in lengths. Take off the end piece. Okay, so spring onions are done. We just take out the core of the onion, make sure that that's not there. I won't use all this onion, I'll probably use only half. Capsicum. Half a capsicum of each color will be sufficient. Take out all the seeds. You can see there's nothing left in there. Take out the top. I'm going to cut off the top and the bottom, the capsicum. We can use that for something later. This we're not doing baton. We're going to do a little bit bigger size julienne which is just a little bit thicker. It will be just a little bit thicker than our normal matchstick size. I'll do that for the green as well. There we go. We'll take off the white. Okay, we we'll slice it thinly. You know, this dish, gochujang dokboki, the first time I ever came across it, because it's everywhere, it's, you can buy it absolutely everywhere really spicy the first time I ever had it but you know what there's something about it it is so addictive the more you have the more you want the key ingredient for the sauce without doubt is the gochujang gochujang is fermented bean paste mixed with dried chili powder you can see it's red 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 color we've got two parts gochujang so let's say two good scoops, one part dried chili powder, one and a little, that's a good mix. We need a little bit of sugar. When I say a little, 
two teaspoons will be enough. Just a touch of black pepper, half a teaspoon, not even. Corn syrup, which you can find at any good Korean grocer. Crushed garlic, one spoonful. If you like more, you can put in two spoonfuls. I've also got the chopped spring onions. I'll put in a couple of scoops of that. And finally, some sesame seeds. Gives it a nice sort of roasted flavor as well. We'll mix this up. This is where the corn syrup comes in handy. It will soften it up and you'll see it drop into a nice paste. And there we go. There's our sauce for the gochujang dokboki. I've got my chopsticks, the oil, vegetables over here. You can see the pan's hot. Look at that. We want to fry these off with just a little color, not too much. So the vegetables go in. Actually, I just put in everything together. It's not really going to matter. Stir fry. Oop, I'm going to run away. Very fun, very casual dish. Here's the anchovy stock. That's good to add now. You can see the color on the vegetables. A little bit of color. They're softened nicely. Now's the perfect time to add the stock. Okay. Now the thickening part is coming. The sauce, because of the corn syrup inside and because of the gochujang, look at that. That just says spicy. Okay, in goes the gochujang. I'm going to put in most of this. I think it's going to thicken nicely. Look at that. Okay, so that's going to simmer for a minute or so. I can smell the spice. I can smell the sweetness as well. It's really, really good smell. Now the rice cakes, this can be found at your Korean grocer for sure. There's no doubt about it. We'll put those in now, whole. Give it a mix. This will simmer now for about five minutes just to finish the dish. Texture looks good. The rice cakes are nice and soft. So we're ready to rock. I'll get my plate. Put that here. And for this, I will need a spoon for plating. Got my spoon. I'm going to use a flat dish for this. You can use a bowl, but this, this, uh, this is kind of a flat dish with the rim, so it's okay. Oh yeah, garnish, simply some sesame seeds. Ah, first, first thing. Chef always needs to taste his food, right? I need Duncan, the cameraman, to try this. He's a seasoned professional. Duncan, tell me what you think of this. Wow, I can see the fire coming out of your ears. Oh, he's, he's giving me the heads up. It's a good nod. All right, excellent. We have just uncovered another one of the world's best kept culinary secrets. Gochujang dokboki. Introduce it to your friends. If they love spicy food, they'll love this. It's a great dish. It's time for me to uh, go and clean up. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>